So when it comes to inspiration for our next web design project, whether for ourselves or for a client, we probably go to the same old places, places like Behance and Dribble, those kinds of sites. And both of those are really good sites for inspiration, but there are plenty, plenty more. And today I'm gonna to give you a handful of ones I think you should check out to give you even more inspiration for your next project. So let's kick things off with dark mode design. If you've ever tried to design a website in dark mode, in other words, using darker colors through the entire design, it can be challenging. I know I struggle with this kind of thing to get good results. This is a site dedicated just to dark mode based designs. So if you want to check this out, I would recommend you do if you're working on a dark design. There's lots of hand-picked designs, all live websites, so you can check them out, see exactly how they work, so you can easily find some inspiration for your next project. For example, this higher website. If you're looking for something using a dark mode with animated effects and different color schemes and so on, this is a good starting point. So I would recommend taking a look at dark mode design if you're trying to build a dark mode based website. Next on the list, we have Landing Folio. This is a website that has lots of designs, landing pages, pricing pages, about us pages, all manner of different ones, all categorized up. Now, it is a little bit of an attack on the senses when you look at it, but a couple of seconds in, you'll find there's lots of inspiration. If you want dedicated landing pages, well, you can check out just those and then go ahead, find something you like the look of, click to go in and take a look at it, and then you can find out more about it. You can also check out different device layouts if you want to see what it looks like on mobile, what it looks like on desktop and so on, which is all pretty cool. It also gives you information about the color scheme of this use so you can pull out the primary colors. So if you like the color scheme used in a design, you can grab that information from here, which is pretty cool if you want to grab that info. So again, another one of those great places to get inspiration for your next project. Don't limit it to just landing pages. You could use this for inspiration of all manner of different website designs. So check out Landing Folio. Again, all the links for everything are in the description below, so you can quickly check these out for yourself. Check it out. Now, next up, we have App Shots. Now, App Shots is kind of geared more around sort of mobile applications for iOS and Android, but there are some web-based design inspiration items on here. You can filter things out based upon the top sections. You can see we can go between iOS, Android, and web. And then you can come down, you can find the different flows inside here and also the different types of apps. So, for example, if we like to look of this Reso Music, we can simply come in and take a look at this design. And you'll see underneath then it'll give us a load of different screenshots of different parts of the whole sort of sequence part of the app. But you can use this for design inspiration, for flow inspiration. If you're creating a mobile first website and you want to make sure that the flow works nicely, you could use this for inspiration. Lots of reasons why you might want to check this out. And again, coming back out of app shots, back to the top, coming to web, for example, this will now give us the different websites and you can see we've got onboarding, create, notify, comment and so on. So there are lots of different options available inside you. You do need to sign up. It's kind of free to do it anyway, but you can sign up to carry on browsing. But you'll see there's a range of different options. Most of these are bigger websites. So things like Airtable, Dropbox and so on. So you're kind of getting inspiration from some of the big players out there, which is no bad thing. Next on our list is Landbook. Now, again, Landbook is one of those sites that gives you inspiration. Things are broken down. You can choose colors inside here. So maybe you're working on a kind of green based website. You can click on green and that will then filter all the design inspiration to just using that as the primary color inside that design. So pretty cool that you can go through and you can filter things down inside you. You can then filter things down further. So we can say we want to look at blogs, for example. So we can go green blogs or green portfolios green landing pages, all those are available for you. So you can filter things down nicely. You can also go down into the type of industry, the style you want. So for example, you may want something Apple style. We'll clear the color from here, for example, and we get Apple style designs, obviously including Apple. So you can easily come through and find something that you think is indicative of what you're trying to create. The nice thing is you get both light websites, dark websites, all those are available to kind of give you inspiration. So you might like the look of the Revolut site. Again, you can come in and take a look at that. You can switch between the desktop and the mobile version. Unfortunately, you do need a pro account to get the mobile version. But I think there's more than enough here in the free version to be able to get enough inspiration for your next project. So you might want to check out Landbook and take a look at the various different kind of design inspirations they've got available on that website. 
Next up, we've got pagecollective.com. Again, this is one of those design inspiration sites that's got things broken down on the left-hand side. So you may be looking for inspiration for your next pricing page on a website. You can filter things down, find out pricing on you, and then you can go in and dig a little deeper. So you might like the look of this one. We can click, go and take a look. Much like we've seen in some of the other sites, this also gives you the color scheme that's being used inside you, which is always a good thing if you like a particular website's design and or color scheme. So you can see this gives you various different inspiration and we've also got more pages down the right hand side so the landing page we've got the about page the business page there's all kind of manner of things which i kind of like the look of this we can just quickly flick through and find inspiration based upon any of the different internal pages on this particular design and then when you want to you can come back out of this and you can go back to the home page and say let's take a look at something like the integrations and again, you can see this now gives us different pages, different integration pages, so we can easily come in, choose one we like the look of. There's the color scheme. And again, you can see we've got options for different pages on that site so we can get even more inspiration to make sure that if we get inspired by a design, we can get a cohesive kind of level of inspiration based upon the various different pages on that site. Pretty cool. Check it out. Now, Referro is a slightly different kind of inspiration. This is more about the user interface, the user patterns, the UI, those kinds of things. So it's based upon product design, but there are still plenty of inspiration options in here. For example, you can take a look at product page and landing pages. You're going to find some of the big players inside you like Stripe and so on, PayPal. But you can see, again, these are all really solid design inspiration options. So you can say we like the look of Linktree, for example. We can check that out, go in there, and we can find out more information about it. We can find out all the kind of design ideas that we want and grab what we like from there. And you can see the nice thing is it shows us on the right hand side more information. So if we like the look of the typography, for example, well, we can take a look that Arial and Inter are the typography sets of options that are being used. You can also see the colors that are being used inside you. So you can very quickly grab the kind of colors, the design, the typography, whatever level inspiration you are taking from any designs you open up inside Referro, you've got a lot of information available to you in there. Now, a lot of these have a kind of pro plan that you have to sign up for, but I do think there's more than enough inspiration across all of these that you don't have to spend a single penny. And you can check between the websites and iOS apps if you want to. So if you're designing an application, for example, this is going to give you inspiration for your next kind of application. Pretty cool. Take a look at that. That's Referro. And then we have Lapa or Lapa.ninja. Much the same as you've just seen, this gives us more inspiration, again, broken down into various different subsections. We're looking at landing pages, but you can see there's an awful lot in here. So maybe you're working on your next LMS or learning management site. Then you can come in and you can take a look at ones that are kind of geared towards that. And you can filter through and find out a kind of design inspiration from there. Again, we've got landing pages, you've got 3D websites, e-commerce. There's an abundance of different options here. Once you found one that you like, you can simply come in, click to go and take a look at it. This will give you a kind of breakdown of that page. You can see, we can see what it looks like. Pretty cool. There's some more options over on the right hand side to expand on that. And you can see it's inside different categories, the colors. Pretty cool and a good starting point if you're looking for inspiration. But as always, we still have the likes of Dribble and Behance if you want to tap into those. And I love using these sites to get inspiration. You've got an abundance of great looking designs that you can tap into and find real solid inspiration, whether it's for color schemes, typographic links, or overall design aesthetics, or just parts of it. So don't be afraid to check these out to get inspiration. The only thing I would say is, please don't just copy these verbatim. That's kind of just ripping people's work off. Use them to inspire you to move forward and create something unique based upon your inspiration on any of these sites. But if you've got any sites that you always go to to get inspiration and ideas, drop those links in the comment section below so I can check them out and maybe add them to another video for design inspiration in the future. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.